Achoo! Sorry, it's that time of year. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 allergies that actually exist. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, while many people are used to sneezing their way through the pollen of spring, we'll actually be looking at things you probably wouldn't expect people to be allergic to. We suggest you get the antihistamine ready. Number 10. Money Don't dive into that pit of coins just yet. It may leave you with a nasty rash, among other things. This is technically a case of being allergic to nickel or silver rather than the notion or construct of currency. But all the same, it's hard to imagine suffering through rashes or blisters simply because you needed some extra change. Worst of all, symptoms may take up to 48 hours to set in. Fortunately, there are over-the-counter solutions to alleviate any cases of itchy or dry skin, but perhaps the best solution is to rely on your friends. Credit or debit. Number 9. Vibrations Hopefully you're not moving around too fast for this one. Vibratory angioedema is a reaction to vibrations of all things and occurs when the skin is exposed to a rapidly moving object. Hives can appear on the skin within minutes, but fortunately the redness and itchiness tends to go away within an hour, although it's a very painful hour. This rare allergy can be inherited and can be due to prolonged exposure to vibrations. For example, operating machinery or something as simple as a bumpy car ride or even clapping your hands. Number 8. Fish or fish smell Proper office etiquette has taught us to never bring leftover fish for lunch. No one wants to smell it being warmed up in the microwave. But imagine taking a whiff of a flounder and actually wheezing, losing your breath, or getting rashes all over your skin. Some people are so allergic to fish that just the smell will do this to them. This is because when we're smelling something, we're actually taking in tiny particles of it through our noses. So be more mindful about what you bring in for lunch. Number 7. Cold We all have that friend who complains about being too cold. They may even joke about potentially being allergic to the frosty weather, but maybe they're actually telling the truth? Let's talk about cold urticaria, which is a term used for an allergic reaction to, well, the cold. This can be from the weather or from a dip in a nice cold pool on a summer day. It can lead to the typical allergic reactions. However, severe cases can lead to fainting and even death. Likewise, there's also heat urticaria to worry about, which can occur when your body increases in temperature. Number 6. Cell phones Don't panic, it's not actually a sign that you need to put the phone down. Well, kinda. What's known as mobile phone dermatitis is actually an allergic reaction to nickel, chromium, or cobalt. The metal is used in the buttons, screens, and headsets of your phone. So there are cases where too much exposure has led to cell phone rashes, red bumps along the areas of use, namely your jawline, cheek, and ear. If it's not one of those that's causing it, there's a chance it's from the electromagnetic emissions your phone gives off, though this is not recognized as a medical condition. Number 5. Exercise no, it's not an excuse to ignore that New Year's resolution. There are a small amount of people in the world who are legitimately allergic to exercise, although it is a bit more complicated than that. Exercise-induced anaphylaxis can be related to what you eat or what medication you take before you decide to work out. That, combined with physical activity, can lead to a cluster of annoying reactions like hives and swelling, or in the worst-case scenarios, vomiting, choking, and death. This worsens if they also have heat urticaria, because that increase in body temperature can make that flare up too. Number 4. Touch The act of touching someone is definitely something we take for granted. Even stopping well before the sexual realm, touch, like a hand on the shoulders, adds a level of intimacy and personal bonding to our interactions. But for those with dermatographia, the pressure from those simple touches can result in raised, itchy red rashes, so much so that some have taken to calling it skin writing disease. Why? Because some are so sensitive to touch that they can trace their finger along their skin in different patterns that will become visible and stay raised for about a half hour. Number 3. Semen You could call this an allergy to sex, but that wouldn't exactly be accurate. However, since sex often results in the arrival of semen, maybe that's splitting hairs. Regardless, this allergy can lead to a misdiagnosis where it's assumed that those rashes, welts, and that uncomfortable burning sensation is the work of an STD, when in reality, it may be human seminal plasma hypersensitivity. Pro tip, if you start to experience the symptoms within minutes of intimate activities, it's probably a semen allergy, especially if you are the only one in bed. 
Number 2. Sunlight It seems unlikely and plays into stereotypes involving vampires, goths, heartbroken teens, or dedicated gamers, but an allergy to sunlight is a genuine thing. Known in medical circles as solar urticaria, it causes red, itchy skin in an allergic response to the sun, or in extreme cases, even certain kinds of light bulbs. Worse still, major reactions can trigger headaches, vomiting, nausea, lightheadedness, or even heart attacks and strokes. And despite what you might expect, clothing may not prevent symptoms, although for the most part, only exposed skin is affected. Before we get to our number one pick, let's write a prescription for these honorable mentions. Number 1. Water Considering how much we're exposed to water, and the fact that about 60% of our bodies are made up of the stuff, this rare condition is the most unbelievable one on our list. Though it's not considered a true allergy by scientists, those who suffer from aquagenic urticaria still experience painful hives and welts when they come in contact with water. Whether it's taking that morning shower, or for some, it's drinking a cold glass of water on a hot day that'll cause the throat to swell up. In the most extreme cases, the bodily fluids we produce like blood, sweat, and tears can lead to nasty rashes and breakouts. Oh.